So I'm back here visiting my mom in the hospital in Germany to make you wear this mask, this outfit here, and then you can visit mom in the hospital. Make me wear those gargles. Well, safety is first, I guess. Maybe it's a good thing. I think it's a good thing. And this is what mom gets for Christmas dinner here. Duck and then uh, chicken breast, Hirsch Gulasch and Spinatknödel. I can't really translate all this, but uh, <coughs> that's for mom. Frohe Weihnachten, yeah. She can eat it right here in the hospital. But in the Turkish hospital, nobody was wearing a mask anymore. Nobody has stuff like this. Everybody could come in. I had to had to uh, do a negative COVID test to come into the hospital. So I had to get, get a test first and then they, <coughs> then they let me in here. So thank you for all the nurses. You're doing a great job. It's unbelievable. I never really, you really never think about it, you know? You watch it, but you never really think how hard it is to work with all this clothes on all day long. When I called the ambulance from my mom, they tried to send her to the Krefelder hospital, but everything was full there. They're understaffed, hospital was full. They had to go to a different area, which called Hölz. And they said, even this hospital is really busy and they don't have enough stuff. My mom, staff members, I think they call it. So my mom is here, they come in here, they do everything really quick. They just don't have the time for each patient. And I didn't know, while I have to wear all this, I just found out this is an isolation station. If you have like something with your lungs, they also have some COVID patients in the back here. That's why they always have to wear a mask and wear the clothes. I didn't know, so the one of the nurses just told me that. And actually you saw that earlier the mask that I ripped and she says, oh, you cannot not wear your mask. They're gonna kick you out. I said, well, it just broke. So you have to wear a mask when you come to the hospital here. And like I said, respect to all the nurses. I didn't know that they have to go through all this stuff. I mean, you just live your life. If you've never been to a hospital, you don't really know what's going on, even though they tell you. They're underpaid, understaffed, and just respect to all the nurses. And people just don't know. Now, I know, and hopefully you know too. And I'm doing this video again to show you what it is like going to a hospital in Germany. You've never seen anything like that. I never know how it was. I didn't know you have to have a test when you come in. So that's why I'm doing this video. So the nurse just came in, gave my mom the oxygen for the nose. And then when she leaves this room, she has to throw her, whatever this is called, away. And then she has to wear a new one to go to the next one all day long. They have to switch all those clothing. Unbelievable. When I have to leave, I also have to put it in the trash can right here before I go outside. You see all the sweat in here? It's so hard to wear this thing. Unbelievable. Welcome to the vlog. You already seen that my mom is in a hospital. No, we are not here in a bar somewhere. This is actually my mom's basement. We got like music here. We got a real bar. We celebrated a lot of parties here. We got real alcohol. If you're ever in town, you're more than welcome to uh, visit and I'm gonna give you a drink. So, as you already seen in the beginning of the video, my mom is back in the hospital. When we flew from Turkey, we the day before, we asked the doctor if my mom would be good to fly and he said, yes, uh, she should be okay. Of course, I was really nervous when we went to the plane. There was only 40 people flying back. That was really good. We had like three seats for each person. That was pretty good. But my mom still had a hard time breathing and I've been watching her the whole time on the flight. And when we came home, she got really tired. She wanted to lay down. And after like 20 minutes, she couldn't breathe anymore and I had to call the ambulance. So they came and picked my mom up. The hospital here in Krefe was full. I already told you that. They had to bring her somewhere else. So now I'm here by myself in this big house. Mom is in a hospital and she's going to stay there for another, at least after Christmas. I haven't been back to uh, Germany for Christmas for over 20 years, I would guess. So I thought this time when I come here, we're going to have like a nice Christmas tree. Mom and me, we're gonna celebrate Christmas like we haven't done for so long. 
but sometimes in life things happen different than you expect and we had no idea that the outcome that my mom is not feeling that great so there's nothing we can do we can only hope for the best and I feel a little bit more comfortable that my mom is in a hospital because I know somebody can help her there so she's on constant watch and she has her oxygen there and they're working on her um, pneumonia and she also has some bronchitis it's like some bureaus going around with the bronchitis I feel much better I think I'm actually good again even though my voice is sometimes going away a little bit but that's basically it I do have a place where I can go for Christmas on the 24th here in Germany everybody celebrates on the 24th in America I think most of the people celebrate on the 25th I could go somewhere but it's not the same you know I don't really feel like being with a lot of people, you know, they, it's the family meeting, that's okay. Maybe later on I'm going to visit some of my friends. I'm just going to stay here. I'm going to cook my own dinner, I think, or something. And I'm probably going to go to the hospital, visit at mom, I'm not sure. It's always a big problem. We have such a better time when we actually talk on the uh, FaceTime. So I can call her anytime. And it's the same thing, I would be there, I would say, because when you're there, there's a lot of procedures you have to go through. And I don't know yet, but I'm uh, probably going to go visit her. That's what I'm thinking. I have no feeling that's Christmas right now. Like I said, in America, everything is really nice. They have all the Christmas lights, nothing here in Germany. And I can't believe tomorrow is Christmas. I wish I would have been in Christmas in uh, America because I like it. I really love it, driving in the streets, going to Beverly Hills. But I wanted to spend some time with my mom. So you cannot have everything. And I also can't believe that the year is gone already like this. I just hope that my mom is going to stay healthy for the next couple of days. I hope she's going to come out soon. I wish you a happy holiday. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, and I don't know what else is there to celebrate. Wherever you are, whatever you do, I wish you the best. Uh, I wish you a really nice day, and um, I make the best out of it. I have yet not bought a ticket back to the United States. I'm going to stay here for a little bit longer, I think. I soon have to buy a ticket because I still have to do some stuff in uh, the United States. I remember all those years I could never come to Germany because between Christmas and New Year, there's always a lot of people come and visit Venice Beach, Los Angeles. You know, they, they have the Rose Parade, they have the Rose Bowl. There's millions of people coming. So there's always people on the beach getting henna tattoos or buying some artwork. So I never flew to Germany during the Christmas time. And now I'm here for the first time for a long time. That's pretty cool. Also, I wanted to say thank you very much for the people they supported me on my PayPal account. Uh, I haven't wrote back some of the people. Sometimes you have like an option that you write them back right away and some people I cannot write. So I want to say thank you very much. If you watch this for all the generous donation, thank you very much. And I try to actually answer in the future. I actually should invite all my friends to come here and we have a party right here we got the best music 80s music it's unbelievable how many records i have right here look at this no electronics we still got the mixer here we got the record player this is all old school so uh, in the next few days i'm probably going to do a whole vlog about this place here my mom's basement so you can see what it looks like anyway that's what that was it man I can't even speak right anymore that was it I just wanted to give you like an update what's going on here with the German in Venice celebrating Germany by himself uh, celebrating Christmas by himself anyway if you like the video give it a thumbs up I'm waiting just do it right now give it a thumbs up and then uh, subscribe to the channel that will be nice and I'll see you next time Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, uh, Happy Kwanzaa. See you guys later. Tschüssi.